Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to manually update to the official Android 4.2.1 over the air update on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Uh, this is only for the Sprint variant at the moment. Uh, you might see the software version referred to as GA02 as well in case you see that. But anyways, uh, this will not wipe any data. You do not need to be rooted uh, either. So uh, first of all, go ahead and go into settings and scroll all the way down. Go to about phone and you will notice uh, down at build number, the last four digits is FHO5. That's the latest 4.1.1. So this is actually the official over the year update that's being pushed out. If you'd like to manually install it, just follow these pretty simple directions actually. So uh, this is it. First of all, what you're going to need to do is go back into those settings and then go ahead and go to developer options and then go ahead and turn them on and make sure USB debugging is checked. So that's the first step. Just kind of make make sure it's checked there. Uh, you might not even need it checked, but uh, just as a uh, precaution, you can always uncheck it after you're done with this process. But anyways, uh, after you've done that, you'll see I moved icons. None of No data is going to be wiped, so you don't have to worry about that. But we need to do a couple things, actually. First of all, I highly recommend installing PDA Net on your PC. What that's going to do is install the drivers needed on your PC uh, so that Fastboot can recognize your device. So that's the first thing I recommend. I'll link to everything in the description of the video or at my website. After you've done that, you need to set up the SDK tools on your PC. Again, I have a video showing you how to do that. I'll link to that in the description. So uh, once you have PDA Net installed on your PC and the SDK tools set up, we are good to go. So if you've already got them done, you don't need to follow that uh, either of those steps but uh, anyways if you don't follow those steps then go ahead and download the file that you need to download there's a big download link click on that once you've downloaded that file we can go ahead and go to our PC all right, once we're at our PC, you will see this is the file that you did need to download. Uh, what I recommend doing is right-clicking and hit copy. So go ahead and copy the file. You can hit cut, it's up to you. I'm gonna recommend hitting copy, and then go ahead and go to your C drive and find that Android SDK uh, folder that you did make following my video. Double-click on it, and then go into the Platform Tools folder, and then go ahead and right-click inside that folder and hit paste. So just go ahead and paste that file into this folder. So it'll make everything easier for us. Once you've pasted it, I highly recommend highlighting the file name, right click and hit copy. So just copy the file name to your clipboard. We'll need that in just a second. But once you have uh, this all set up, everything in this folder, go ahead and click out of it and then hold shift, right click, and you'll see an option that says open command window here. So make sure that you select open command window here it's gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt for us. And you will see it's already pointed to that Android SDK platform tools folder just due to the fact that we hit open command window here. All right, and once you have that all set up, grab your phone and go ahead and power off the device. So go ahead and shut it down because we need to get into recovery mode. Once fully powered off to get into recovery mode, press and hold volume down, volume up, and the power button all at the same time. Keep it held down, and this will take us into the bootloader. Now press volume down once, twice, until it says recovery mode. Then press the power button to select it. What that's going to do is automatically take us. You'll see I have a padlock down there. If you do not, no big deal. Your bootloader does not need to be unlocked. Mine just is by chance. I just didn't feel like relocking it. All right, you will see this screen come up. Now just go ahead and press your volume keys and your power button in some sort of succession. I just pressed them all at the same time and then this popped up. So once this pops up, you will see Android system recovery. That just lets us know that we are in recovery mode. Now just go ahead and press volume down once until it highlights apply update from ADB and then press the power button to select it. Now it says now send the package uh, that you want to install. So this is where we are ready to go. Now you can go ahead and plug our Galaxy Nexus into our PC once we are on the screen. So plug it on in. If any drivers are installing, let them install. Let them do their thing. But once you have it plugged in, you can go back to that command prompt that all right, now we are ready to type in the command prompt. So what we're gonna need to type in is ADB space sideload and then space. After you put the space there, go ahead and right click the top of the command prompt and actually uh, highlight edit and hit paste. What it's gonna do is actually paste that file name that we copied earlier. And then at the end of it, you will see GA02. Go ahead and add dot zip at the end of that. Make sure it doesn't say .zip, .zip, but just GA02.zip. Once it does, you can actually just go ahead and hit enter, 
and then it says sending side load. That is all you have to do. Uh, it's going to actually automatically update our device to Android 4.2.1. You will see, uh, it lets you know the progress of it. I'm going to, I'll be back once it's closer to finishing. All right, so it is at 100%. And it's now, I believe, now that it sent it over to the to the device, excuse me, you will see a little blue progress bar down at the bottom. It will go ahead and run through the update on the phone itself. It will be on the screen for a while, so just be patient with the install process. All right, after sitting on the screen for a while, it looks like it is just finishing up. At least the progress bar looks like it is uh, finishing up. All right, and it has finally finished. It says install from ADB complete. Now all you have to do is press the power button because it already is highlighting reboot system now. Press the power button and then our Galaxy Nexus is just going to reboot. And while it's booting up, I do want to make one quick note uh, that you just want to kind of be patient with this first boot up just due to the fact that uh, since it is an update, it will take a little bit longer than usual to boot up. You will see this Android is upgrading screen depending on how many apps you do have. It could sit at the screen for a while. All right, so here we go. Here it is. Android 4.2, you'll see no data was wiped. It says network is preparing services. I don't need that to happen. So here we go. Go ahead and uh, you will see you can swipe down, press this icon. You have these little quick panels. You can use two fingers and it goes straight to those quick panels, go into settings. I actually have a full review of 4.2.1. I'm going to link to that in the description of the video. I highly recommend checking that out just due to the fact you will know how to use certain features, all the new features. But go to about phone and here it is, 4.2.1. Point one jelly bean right there uh, GA02 the last four digits of your build number so there you have it uh, also quickly tap on your build number and you will get developer options back so when you go uh, you will see developer options and settings again that's just another quick note again there you have it so that's how to manually update your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus to Android 4.2.1. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Uh, I, I really appreciate it if you would do that. Uh, you can click the thumbs up button as well. That uh, really helps me out. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know if it works. Leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe, as I said. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.